Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. Well, great things have happened since my last video update. The installation of my Kotec inverter on my display board, as well as my AC disconnect switch, is indeed has been completed indeed. And it was really a fun project, um, running all those wires and uh, I happen to have had um, these insulators or conduit um, for quite some time, for maybe about eight years, I just haven't used them. Um, it wasn't necessary to run these in a shed, but in that I, I had them and you know they weren't being used. Then I figured I would just put them to good use here. Of course, they also match the color of my Kotec inverter. So, yes, that's my AC disconnect um, box or breaker, and that runs all the way over here and down to my GFCI outlet right there which of course goes up to my switch and then to my little lamp up there but yes guys um, I'm very excited about this right now and um, yeah that's my little um, tester right there inside the inverter it's saying everything is wired correctly and one thing I found with this inverter um, in order for it to register on my tester as being wired correctly this is not a hardwire inverter, um, but it's, it's hardwire capable because it's a pure sine wave inverter. I actually, inside a breaker box, had to bond um, the neutral and the ground in order for this thing to register correctly. And um, I checked the, the documentation that came with the inverter, but there wasn't anything explicit um, showing that um, the, the, the ground and the neutral could be could be bonded but I just took a chance and I tried it and it does work. The inverter has been running for quite some time. I tested my microwave and everything and it, it worked well. So yes, you can indeed bond the ground and the neutral inside your breaker box using this Coltec Pure Sine Wave Inverter which is very good. So um, this is a big relief for me because certain things won't work well unless the neutral and ground um, is of course bonded. So yes, um, following the, the conduit here, uh, as you can see right there, the connection, this is my, my ground bar right here that actually goes outside my shed and um, it runs about four feet into the ground. I'm actually going to take your side right now just so I can show you that where I actually have it grounded. And it's about 9, 10 p.m. Eastern time right now. So here we come out, out of my shed right there and um, it goes into the ground bar right there. So yes, I'm grounded and protected should something um, were to happen, but I'm hoping that everything will go well and I won't have any issues at all. So yes, things are going very well, guys, and uh, I'm very excited about having completed the wiring of my new inverter to my AC disconnect box, and currently, um, this is just supplying power to my shed right now. Um, eventually, eventually, I will take a wire into my house, but for the meantime, it's just going to be my shed right now that is being powered by this inverter. So yes, things are going very well inside my shed, and uh, I'm just very excited about that. So I'll keep you posted next week, as I have a, a little surprise for you next week. Yes, you're going to love what you see next week. Yes, guys. So thanks for watching. This is Anthony saying have a great evening and catch you next time. Bye now.